This is my old Wahoo Element bolt. Unfortunately, eventually it's Bluetooth quit working, so I had to replace it. It came with this really nice arrow mount and it's fully integrated, it fits it really well. I really like these mounts, so I ended up actually buying eight of them. I put one on each of my bikes. When that died, I replaced it with the Wahoo Bolt 2, so this was the second generation. And I used this one for a couple of years, but I was in a crash a few months ago and I broke the screen. It fit those original aero mounts just fine. You can see it fits right on there and it holds it securely. It does not fit the design wise very well. It's not seamless, you know, you can tell it's not the right mount, but it still works. So when that one died, when I broke the screen on it, I got this one and this is the current generation. So this is the Bolt 3. It's got the same mount. I figured it would work just like the other two. And when you put it on, it looks like it's going to work. But what happens is it's just a bit larger and it hits the side of the mount. So you can only get it on that far. Like I said, I've got eight of these mounts and Wahoo wants $30 a piece for mounts that fit this new computer. I am not going to give Wahoo $30 for one of these, especially since I've got eight of them. So I found a way to modify these original aero mounts to work with the Bolt 3. So what I'm going to show you in today's video. The solution for this is really simple in concept. Remove a little material from this part of the mount so that when the Wahoo is inserted and turned, it'll click into place. In actuality, it's just a bit more difficult. If you look at the bottom, you can see that this is hollow. So it's not solid all the way through. That top part is really thin. It's only about half a millimeter thick. So once we start taking material off here, we're going to expose that. We're going to be able to see right through it. If we remove too much material, we will weaken this and we'll ruin it. I know that because the first one I did, I removed too much material from and I ruined it. So this is the second one I did. And on this one, I was a little more careful and I figured out exactly how much material we need to remove. So we need to remove 6.53 millimeters of material from this mount to make this work. So from that edge right there, 6.3 millimeters that way, 6.53 millimeters that way. Because we have to be so exact, we can't remove too much material. I'm going to put this in my mill and I'm just going to hog that out with an end mill. All right, we're good. That didn't take long. So here's a look at what I removed. So I took off all the material from this point over to here. I like doing the end mill because it leaves a nice round contour, which I think looks pretty nice. So we've actually gone all the way through it. And so it's hollow now all the way through. That's not great for rigidity. So we need to reinforce this, make it strong and make it look better. I've got a trick for that, but first, before we do that, I do want to make sure this fits. Yeah, that fits nicely. So we've got about maybe a millimeter and a half clearance all the way around, and it's contoured really nicely. That looks pretty good. So here's the secret to success. This is some JB Weld steel stick. This is a two-part epoxy putty. So you take it and you knead it together like dough. And once it's fully mixed, it will set up in about five minutes and it sets up rock hard. So what we're going to do is cut a little bit of this off, mix it up, and we're going to fill in those hollows with this steel stick. By doing that, once it sets up, this, it'll hold this shape. This won't be able to, to flex. So I'm going to cut off just a tiny bit of this and knead it together. That's probably more than I needed. Ha! I'm wearing gloves here because this stuff, I have such an allergic reaction to it with my skin. If I touch it too much, I will have eczema for a month. So 
So just knead it together with your fingers, kind of like you see me doing, until it is a consistent dark gray. So I've got the putty and I'm going to insert it into these hollows here where we remove material. So I'm going to fill in this one, this one, which is the one that we can see all the way through, and then the one behind it. On the top side, I'll fill it in and I'll, I'll contour it smooth. And I'm going to use this little punch here to just push it in to make sure everything is filled in and it's fully compacted. Having this backlighting here was probably not my best idea. I'm just rolling it into little balls and stuffing it in there. It's just like working with Play-Doh. It is kind of that consistency. So there's how that turned out. That's filled in, it's nice and smooth. And now that that's set up, this thing is super stiff. It's not gonna break, it's not gonna vibrate. And our Wahoo Bolt 3 fits beautifully onto this old original arrow mount. So if you happen to be one of the like six people who are in the same boat I am, you can remove a little bit of material from these original arrow mounts and they work just fine with the Bolt 3.